Hello, my name's Robbie from Girl Bike Love. In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between front and rear facing flywheels on indoor bikes. Let's go! So let's start with front facing flywheels. So this is where the flywheel sits on the front of the bike and while you're riding, you can see it spinning. This is the traditional place for it to be and 90% of bikes on the market right now have front facing flywheels. So what are the pros of a front facing flywheel? Well, the first thing to mention is the position. Because you can see the flywheel, you can make sure that if you have dogs or children running around, that they're not gonna step in front of it and cause themselves any injury. The next thing is resistance. So the beauty of a front facing flywheel is that you can use both magnetic and friction resistances very easily. And finally, you have cost. Typically bikes with a front facing flywheel are generally a little bit cheaper than ones with a rear facing flywheel. What about the cons? So the first thing to mention is looks. You know, in my opinion, a rear facing flywheel does look much sleeker than a front facing flywheel. And on top of that, maintenance. So front facing flywheels sit right under you and because of this, a lot of sweat can drip down and cause them to rust and make you need to do more maintenance on the bike. So then we have rear facing flywheels. So these do look fantastic. With the flywheel on the back facing outwards, it gives it a really nice streamlined sporty look. So roughly five to 10% of bikes come with a rear facing flywheel and they are fantastic. They do come with some great pros, but you also get some cons too. So what are the pros of a rear facing flywheel? So I have to say again, looks. The majority of indoor cyclists prefer a rear facing flywheel over a front facing flywheel. Next, we have maintenance. With your sweat not going on the flywheel, that means your bearings are gonna last longer and in time, you're gonna to need to do less maintenance. Finally, brand. If you have purchased a rear facing flywheel, it's probably come from one of the bigger brands, meaning you get better resale and you've just got that classier name on the bike. So what are the cons of a rear facing flywheel? So the first thing to mention is position. With it being on the rear, you can't see it. So if you've got kids or dogs running around, it does mean they can sneak up and go close to that flywheel, which you're not going to want. Next, you have cost. So typically bikes with rear facing flywheels are a little bit more expensive than ones with front facing flywheels because there's less and it's because the bigger brands are making them. And finally, you have resistance. So typically you will only find rear facing flywheel bikes with magnetic resistance. So if you're looking for something with friction, then you're probably not going to get it on a rear facing flywheel. So what's best for you, a front or rear facing flywheel? In my opinion, they're both fantastic. It all comes down to personal preference. You're still gonna get a great indoor cycling experience from either a front or a rear. So thanks for taking the time to watch our video today. If you enjoyed this, make sure to head to the Girl Bike Love YouTube channel where you're gonna find some fantastic videos all about indoor cycling. And before you go, make sure to hit subscribe.